So I'm Manuel de la Peña, I'm an artist from Guadalajara and uh, I live in Guadalajara. Some of my family make art, but uh, not the same as me. I study in Guadalajara Fine Arts in a school it's called Sedart. And I learned right there some techniques of non-paper good. Uh, I do uh, painting and sculpture and some hand making. And after that, I, I keep on doing my own research and I'm searching a lot of things about another kind of um, techniques that we can, that I can use to make my artwork and I found the paper cut. The paper cut is traditional in all over the world. In Mexico, the most traditional is in Puebla. There is a, there is, it's a, a technique of decoration in the parties and Altars. Altars. And so I, 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 I have inspiration in that thing. And I start to combine that thing with the fine arts uh, techniques. So I have, for an example, this is my tools. You hear me without the microphone? Yeah, yeah it's cool. I use this kind of tools. Yeah, an exacto blade and uh, special <coughs> tweezers. The best ones is the Japanese ones because they have a lot of tradition of paper cut, you know? Yeah. It's like the Nolfa, uh, yeah, it's the better ones. Yeah. Uh, the Japanese awesome. kitchen knife is yeah. very good. Everybody always buys Japanese oh, knives for chefs, buys Japanese knives for yeah. chefs. Yeah. And I don't use in my artwork the, the traditional paper, you know, as, as a copy, no. I use cotton paper, like the watercolor paper. It's a special paper that you have no problem with the time because it's acid free. And you can see it. Oh. What is acid free? Um, acid free is, um, is like, um, yeah, no, no chemicals. They have no chemicals. Yeah, it is. It's so it lasts long. Like, uh, yeah. And it comes in different colors. No, I painted. I painted with acrylics. Yeah, the first step is cutting the paper. Well, I design the my artwork in my sketchbook and start cutting the paper. I do a lot of cuttings and start painting. I painting with acrylics and now my ultimate research, I am doing the paints with the natural pigments. So I have here this thing, it's called grana cochinilla. It's like a bug. Yeah. Is that red? Yeah. It's red. Yeah, it's red and purple. Oh. So you make your paint? Yeah, in some of my new artwork, I am making my paint. Oh, I see, any kind of natural red, you can kind of get that. Excellent. Excellent. From bugs. And is your this paper like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have some that's 50% Okay, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same stuff they use in Oaxaca on the rugs, right? Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to start researching this to make my Mexican my, my artwork. And I have a little demonstration right here if you want to see it. Yeah. You can come right here. Is it brown or what? They change colors when it browns? It's brown? Well, is when it, when do you it, use no. that color for your paper? Yeah. Because uh. mm-hmm. you said acrylics, I'm wondering. Yeah, in the color ones, I use acrylics. But in the red ones and the purples, I started uh-huh. researching some new techniques oh. of mixing a traditional with contemporary, you know? Oh. Where do you find the cochineo? Uh, this one, it's a town, it's called Autlán. Oh, I know. Yeah, Outland. in Jalisco. Yeah. Check. But it's the, it's the best red you can find in nature. Mm-hmm. That's the be interesting yeah. for watercolor. Yeah. yeah, it's like watercolor. Yeah, look at it because it's... Only yeah. with the cochinilla. The surface and it would be very interesting. But if we change the chemistry, for an example, with this is a it's baking soda. Oh. It nice. changed to purple. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah? Yep. How cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if we keep going. It's trial and error as well. And make some citric. People have been using this for years. Mm-hmm. It changed again. Check. Yeah. Which has yeah. Citric. Yeah. Citric. Citric. So you're still using the baking soda? Jeez. No. Yeah? Yeah, you still baking soda out of here. Oh. Check wow. the difference. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it's like magic. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like magic. It is magic. It's magic. It's magic. That's so cool. Yeah, and my research is is how can I use this in the paper? Because there is uh, I I don't find uh, a master to to doing this thing. So it's my own research. In the last I I put in uh, some kind of Lacquer, uh-huh. mm-hmm. lacquer, mm-hmm. lacquer, mm-hmm. yeah, yes. of of damar, damar varnish, uh-huh. okay, yeah, and psh, to fix it, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it works, yeah, yeah. It's, it's working. Yeah. So after you make it, you spray the varnish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. to protect them. Man. Mine was gold. What did you use for that gold? The gold? Yeah. I, I use acrylics oh. and. Um, um, some kind of powder, you know, like the Antiquist Restoration. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. the gold one, it's made with that. Uh-huh. You ever tried turmeric? So what? Turmeric. It's orange. Spice? Uh, the the spice. Poor turmeric. Ah, yeah, the, the yellow one? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, have a lot of color. That it sure does. Yeah. Can you oh, change, change it also? Yes. Like yeah, and, I, and I'm and i keep researching to mix it with, with other things mm-hmm. and see Let's what see it's right transformed. Because this, this every mark of, of paper have a different chemistry and change different the grana with every mm-hmm. kind of paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long does it take you to make that, the finished work? Uh, this thing, I, mm, I'm thinking maybe about 10 hours, maybe, because uh, on the first time I, I told you I do the, the, the concept, the sketch, mm-hmm. and start cutting, and start with the glue, and what kind of glue? the construction. I use P- PBA glue. I think it's a special. Is it a silicone? No. No. It's, it's a paper it's, glue? Yeah, it's a paper glue. Oh. glue. It's it's poly... Vinyl. Polyvinyl. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's that thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I use other thing. It's called uh, acrylato. It's like the acrylic, but more concentrated. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like a medium. And it's hard also. Mm. It's cool for me. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
is the baking soda in both of these jars or is there something else? Yeah, this is baking soda and this is citric powder. Citric powder. Yeah, okay. citric powder. Where do you get citric powder? Like ground up vitamins. Yeah, I, I live in Guadalajara in yeah. Santa Tere. There is a uh, shop to, to make cooking. Yeah. 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 When you when you cut everything's from the everything is folded, right? And everything yes, is, everything, I use the fold-on technique. Yeah, everything, and then and then you always cut. You cut double. Yes, double. Yes. And I use this kind of mat to protect. When you're cutting. When I'm cutting. Yeah. These are these are my blades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this little one is Japanese too. Uh -huh. the, the name is Anti Cutter. I found it in Amazon. Yeah, when the paper is, is bigger, yeah, I use scissors. Thicker? Oh. Thicker. Okay. Thicker. Stronger, heavier. Yeah. yeah. So it's like 140? Yeah. I use scissors. You use scissors for heavier paper, huh? I think the heavier is probably the tiny, the lighter paper is but this why this doesn't fall after a while. You know how paper is, you hit it, let's put it anywhere. It just it collapses and stuff. Not his. No, I know. Yeah. It's obviously he it out, hasn't he? He fixed it. He fixed it. Oh, he sprayed it. That's right. Let's see that. Because he sprays it, you see. And the bigger paper is from the first layer. The first layer. Do you have any questions? Yeah. We like to watch. Do you get tired easily? <laughs> no, I work all day. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason we're going to get that stuff. I know. We all go three hours to the in art shops in Guadalajara, yeah, there is one big, a big one. It's called Lumen. Yeah. 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 They have a lot of, of paper. Mm -hmm. For all different and uses. I mean, like what you're doing. Yeah. Like origami. Yeah. I I found in Amazon some kind of paper. It's called B paper, and I think this is in San Francisco the fabric. Yeah, B paper. Yeah. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice, and I use another one. It's called Fabriano, and another one is called Canson. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool papers to make in paper. This is the only natural one, though. You've discovered the red. Have you got blue yeah, the or red. Green or? Well, the blue is in, in the, uh, there, there are a lot of blue. Do you yeah. Do blue or green? Yeah, the blue is in the in, in a, some kind of wood. Do you use it? Well, I'm starting researching that. that. Yeah. Lots of flowers. Yeah, and the curcuma I use it too. The curcuma paints yellow. Turmeric. Yeah. Turmeric. Mm -hmm. Turmeric goes yellow. Yeah. The spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> there is my studio in Guadalajara, and I am working in that, in the new stuff that I have here in, in this area here. Yeah, those are, those are my tools. I have a different kind of scissors too. I use a matte paper too. A matte. It's, it's like a paper made of a uh, wood of a tree. Oh. Yeah. So that's who I am. Did you have any questions?